I wonder how many remember him taking his first steps. I wonder how many will never forget his last. The sound of gunshot blasts as another black man gasps for breath, left for dead with the right to remain silent. Silent like blood out of bullet wounds, like justice, like the inside of body bags, silent like the empty words from politicians, like accountability, like allies now that the bars and malls have reopened, silent like the courtroom at the Breonna Taylor trial. They ask us, why don't they just comply? Forgetting that it's human nature to try to stay alive, so some run from guns designed to take their lives, they tell us to turn the other cheek. But we've done that so many times, it's now hard to sit. They don't want us to kneel. God forbid we try to stand. Jacob Blake can no longer choose between either. Tell me, how are we supposed to be when we can't breathe? Can't sleep in our own homes? Can't play at the park? Can't go to the store after dark? Can't reach for our ID? Can't protest quietly? Can't simply exist as a black man? Black woman, black child, black trans, kind of makes you wonder what Obama meant when he said, yes, we can, because it seems like the only thing that we can have is PTSD. I wonder how many others are just like me, experiencing temporary paralysis and anxiety when we hear the sirens of the police, see them in our car's mirrors. The cause of your death might be closer than it appears, eyes on the odometer, face straight ahead, waiting for them to pass before we even dare take a breath. We are waking up to hashtags like they were good morning texts. Our lives have become a drawn out card game. Nobody knows who's next. We keep calling for justice, knowing that's like dialing a wrong number, wondering why no one is answering. It's when they call for calm. Tell them that we don't answer unknown numbers. Send a text so we have it in writing. What are we fighting for if we can't stop the dying? Can't stop crying for people we've never met can't stop the trauma caused by normalized violence and death on social media feeds. I have seen enough for multiple lifetimes. Keep a tight circle for when I'm in need of a lifeline because life is heavy, even more so when you're black. You don't need to have seen his first steps to ensure that you'll never stop feeling his last.